Recently, I added the 0.8x reducer flattener to the Orion Eon 130mm refractor. And the results have been amazing in my opinion. As a matter of fact, I want to show you some of those results, including the Cocoon Nebula with that dark matter, that Barnard 168 trail of darkness following the Cocoon. Uh, the Pleiades, Seven Sisters, the Wall of Cygnus, or the Cygnus Wall of the North America Nebula and changing cameras from one-shot color to a monochrome camera using narrowband filters, I want to show you the Wizard Nebula. Hi, I'm Pat Prokop. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. If you're new to my channel, well, thank you for watching and please subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit that like button at the bottom. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. I try to answer each and every comment that, is, that, that you send. Meanwhile, I have an arsenal of telescopes that I use here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden, shooting at the heavenly sky, since Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. And that includes, of course, the uh, Eon 130mm. I also have a a uh, Celestron 11-inch scope, which I primarily use for planetary and for galaxies. Also in the arsenal is the little 80-millimeter uh, telescope refractor, which is a dynamite of a telescope, by the way. And I also have a Maxitoff Newtonian 190-millimeter F5 telescope uh, that I use to look at wide field objects, including nebulae in the heavenly skies. As I mentioned, I have several targets I want to get into, so let's start watching. The Cocoon Nebula, also labeled as IC5146 or Caldwell 19, is a reflection emission nebula in the constellation Cygnus, Cygnus the Swan. The cluster is about 3,262 light years away, and the central star that lights it formed about 100,000 years ago. Sounds old, but that's extremely young, considering our sun is, what, about 4.3 billion years old. And in this area, it's a stellar nursery where star formation is continuously ongoing. The Cygnus Wall of the North America Nebula. This is an emission nebula consisting of interstellar clouds of ionized hydrogen and much smaller portions of other gases, including oxygen, silicon, and others. It also contains a dark region of dense interstellar dust. This is only a portion of that giant nebula that resembles the North America continent. It is approximately 1,600 light years from Earth. I took this picture on the night of September 11th over a period of nearly four hours from around 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. using a one-shot color camera, the ZWO ASI, 071. This beautiful cluster, Messier 45, the Pleiades, or also known as the Seven Sisters, is the finest open cluster in the sky of very young stars located in the constellation Taurus the Bull. The cluster is dominated by hot, blue, and luminous stars that have formed within about the last 100 million years. The wispy reflection nebula around the brightest stars are the results of an unrelated dust cloud of interstellar medium through which the stars are currently passing. The stars are about 425 light years away. This naked eye object is best viewed during the autumn and winter months, or early in the morning in the late summer months. The Wizard Nebula. I took this image from a monochrome camera, the ZWO ASI 1600, using narrow band filters for the color channels. For the red channel, I used a blend of the sulfur-2 and the hydrogen alpha. For the green channel, hydrogen alpha. And for the blue channel, I used the oxygen-3. This is also known as the Hubble palette of color combination. This nebula is about 7,200 light years away. Visually, the interplay of stars, gas, and dust has created a shape that appears to some look like a fictional medieval sorcerer. In the sky, it is located high in the northeastern sky after 10 o'clock in the middle of September. By the way, it's impossible to see this without the aid of a telescope. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed those images. I particularly like that Wizard Nebula. I was impressed the way it came out. 
but uh, you know the heavens are just filled with majestic glories I just showed you a few of them and there are so many more all in a sky near you so unless you need rain clear skies everyone <laughs>